Hello and welcome to this 15 minutes live. Today is Tuesday and it's a normal working day for me. So I'm making this recording during working hours, which I'm not supposed to do. But let me steal some time from my employer. Uh, it's Tuesday and uh, like I said, it's a normal working day. So this week is a bit of a short week for me. Uh, I'm, I'm taking off on Thursday and Friday and I'll be going away with the family over the weekend and I'll be returning on Tuesday uh, the following week so it's a bit of a long weekend for me it's a bit of a holiday uh, the kids are dancing away from home it's one of the major competitions uh, maybe I can say it. it's it's called Ramba in the jungle or Rumba in the jungle and it's an international competition held in Africa and we'll be participating and we're looking forward to seeing uh, some of the dancers that will be coming through from abroad. So yeah, uh, so what happened this morning is, uh, okay, so we in, uh, we in October already, it's, it's 20, 21st, 22nd October already. And uh, this morning uh, I came into the office uh, I was in the office yesterday also, but this morning when I came in, I had dishes uh, in the sink. So the kitchen's over there. Uh, so I had dishes in the zinc that was like, it's old dishes. It was like packing up since, I don't know, forever. Last week I wasn't in the office. Week before last I wasn't in the office. So I was working remotely. I was doing work remotely. So I, I was really just popping in and out in the office. Uh, and the dishes, the dishes was the dishes was in the zinc like almost two weeks, if I can say that. Nothing major, you know. It's a, a, a cup, a saucer, uh, you know. Nothing that you can say, oh, look how horrible this looks. It was just basically a coffee cup, a mug, a glass, uh, and maybe a saucer or something. But but no, nothing with some food items on there that. You know, nothing, nothing major. So it was just dishes. It was just in the and uh, while I was uh, 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 washing the dishes, there's there's two things that happened this morning. Uh, okay, let me talk about the first thing. So uh, the first thing that happened is I, I before I started washing the dishes, right? Uh, the dish cloth the cloth that you use to wash the dishes. So the dish cloth was like on the side and it was like dry. And I picked it up and I looked at it and I said to myself, wow, the dish cloth is nice and clean. It's white, you know, it's, 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 it's clean, you know. Uh, uh, and I kind of had a pride within myself to say, wow, look how nice and clean my dish cloth is. Uh, it's really a thing for me. Uh, when I, I'm sorry to say this, it's really a thing for me in my house and when I visit other people, it's one of the things that I do notice. But I noticed my dishcloth was really clean, nice and white. It's a white dishcloth and it was, it was dry and it was white. And I said to myself, wow, I'm really proud that my dishcloth is white. And I did the dishes, uh, I did the normal, did the dishes, blah, 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 blah. And then while I was doing the dishes, I wiped the, the counter or the top, the kitchen top. And as I was wiping the kitchen top, uh, there was a lot of dust. Now we, we're in October already, it's the 21st of October. And the dusty period uh, in, in my country is uh, around August. August is, August is the windy month. And with that wind comes a lot of dust. Okay. And uh, it's a very dry season. Uh, we just come out of winter and we, uh, I think it's the, the last month of winter. Uh, spring is the 1st of September. So it's the last month of winter. And it's, you know, it's not that cold anymore. Uh, you know, it's, it's, and it's, it's very dry because we don't get in, 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 in this area, we don't get rain during the winter. Uh, we get a summer rain, so it's very dry. Uh, the ground is dry, it's a lot of dust and it's very windy. So that's, that's the dusty period. But we're in, in, in October already, 22nd of October, and I notice a lot of dust uh, on the kitchen counter. So I started wiping 
the kitchen counter with the dishcloth. And as I was wiping, it was collecting a lot of dust. And I looked at it and I said, ah, oh, man, I'm messing up my dishcloth. But I continued, I kept on rinsing it in the water. I continued wiping, rinsing, wiping, rinsing. And finally, in the water, I tried to, 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 to wash the dishcloth and rinse it. And I picked it up and, ah, oh, man, my dishcloth is dirty. It's brown, it's dusty, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so I go down in the cupboard and I'm thinking, okay, I need to clean this. And I've, not, I've never done it before. So the dishcloth being clean earlier was by default. I didn't do anything special. It was just by clean by default, white and clean by default. But this time it's dusty, it's brown, it's stained, and I'm trying to wash it, wash it, wash it, and it's, uh, it's not uh, getting clean. So I go down in the cupboard and I'm thinking, how am I going to get this thing clean now? I let the water run out, uh, uh, the dishes, the water of the dishes, I put fresh water in. As I look down, I see there's a lot of uh, chemicals there. I didn't put the chemicals there, it was just there by default. So someone put it there for me to use, right? Now, this is my office and I try to have everything that I need in the office so I don't go to the main house. The main, uh, main house is over there. But doing the dishes, I could see there were some of the dishes that belonged to the main house. So possibly, maybe at the main house, I had a cup of coffee and I walked over to the office. Or I normally take some chips and then I just put it in a bowl, uh, a bucky, uh, a bowl. And then I just walk over and the dishes kind of collect the side. But anyway, that being said, I tried to have everything here, but I didn't get the chemicals. It's not my chemicals. I never put it there. It's there by default. Someone put it there for me to use. I have an idea who it is, probably my, my wife, but when I opened the cupboard, boom, there was bleach. So I let the water out, the dishes, I put fresh water uh, into the zinc and I put some bleach in there and I first I rinsed the dishcloth and I laid it into the bleach. Okay, now no one taught me how to do this, right? No one came to me and say, growing up or say hey, when you clean your dishcloth put some bleach and you rinse it whatever no one no one taught me this i just learned this by observing and i observed my mother i, I observed my wife and i kind of just knew this by observing so it's something i learned naturally okay so yeah so i think the first lesson there is uh that i want to say is that things happen and sometimes we don't know how it happens uh, and I think there's a lot of people that kind of is like what happened today. It's like you just see things happen. You go about, you do your thing every day, you're busy with your thing. But around you, things are just happening. And yes, it's things that you could be doing, but you're not doing it because it just happens. And like there's people in the background working and doing things, right? And we just benefit from it. Things just automatically happen, right? So I think that's the first thing is I think we need to understand that there are always people working in the background and I think we need to appreciate it and we need to recognize it, that there are people that makes things happen, right? Now, I know we do the things that we, that's important to us, we make the things that happens that is important to us, but in the background, there's a lot of things around us that's just happening and we're benefiting from it. Uh, and I think we need to just take some time to recognize that. The other thing is, uh, while I was doing the dishes, so I have this, uh, I have this uh, stainless steel cup, right? Uh, you know these cups that you travel with, uh, you get into your car and you have a cup, it has a, a lid on it. It's a coffee mug, uh, I probably got it, I did get it from a, you know, one of the suppliers that I deal with. It was a gift at some event that I've been with and it's, it's, it's a mug, it's a... Uh, almost like a flask, but it's a cup size, a double cup size flask with a with a cap on it, and it's got a little of a, a lever that you open and close, and you can enjoy your beverage, hot, cold, or whatever the case might be. And these gifts, I always used to get and just put them aside. You know, I always used to give, give get corporate gifts and and gifts at events, and I never used to use them. But um, I recently, I've, I've uh, especially through the winter now, I used, I made coffee in this mug. The coffee stays hot or warm longer and I used to have it and I used to travel with it and anyway but anyway uh, this and I and I washed this mug 
uh, and uh, I noticed the lid is gone. The, the lid on the mug is gone. And I looked around the office and I tried to find it and I couldn't find it. And I said to myself, okay, I can't remember having coffee out of this mug without the lid. You know, because there's a little opening in the lid, so the lid is on, so you just sip and it. it's kind of convenient sipping through the, through the hole. You know, like these, these paper cups, it's got a little hole, yeah. So, and I thought I never had a beverage in this cup without the lid being on. And now I'm looking for the lid. It's not in the zinc. It's not in the cupboard. It's not on my desk. It's not around here. It's gone. And I kind of worried. You know, I kind of thought, what happened to this lid? Because this is now a strange phenomenon to me. It is, it is an unknown. It's something that's very strange. And, 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 and it is like that, you know. When something is strange or when we don't understand, when our minds cannot process something, it kind of creates a fear within us, you know, and we, and we start wondering. And when we start wondering, we always think the worst, isn't it? We always think the worst. I mean, I, and that's why people, people have a fear, a phobia, because they, they think the worst. And, and I think if you don't understand something, you allow fear to, to set within you. I mean, I've been in the dark many times and I would see something, the corner of my eye would, would catch something very strange and I would like, you know, it would be like, you know, you, be, you become fearful because you don't understand. Your mind hasn't, your mind can't process, your mind can't make sense of what happened. But I've always been that guy, yes, I had that fear. Uh, I, I, I used to have that fear. The initial reaction would be fear and to protect yourself or run away. But I've always been that brave person. I would look directly towards it. And I would stare at it and I would try and make sense of it. I think that after the fear, it's a two, two second fear and a shock, you get a shock. But then I look at it and I say to myself, there is a logical explanation for everything. And I'm trying to find that logical explanation. And I look at something and then a few seconds, my brain would process it and I would come up with an answer. Whether it's the right answer or not, I would resolve that this is what happened and I would have an understanding. Whether it's right or wrong, I would create an understanding and that understanding would subside of the fear. So I think in life, that's how we should be. We should be brave enough. And, it, and really, you need to be brave. If you're faced with some unknown, right, you have a few choices. You can avoid it totally. You can run away from it, avoid it. Uh, you can become fearful, whatever the case might be. But I think we need to be brave enough to, to tackle something that's beyond our comprehension. And we need to, we need to unpack it rather than running away from it. Running away from it, you're not... You're not learning from it. You're not learning anything from it. You're basically just avoiding it. And it's going to bother you. You're going to be thinking about it constantly. It's going to be on your mind what happened here. But I think if we're brave enough, that is when we start learning. That is when we start uncovering new things. Okay. So, yeah, you need to look at it. You need to see if you can recreate that event. And if you're able to recreate what happened, you can possibly solve the mystery behind it, right? You can, yeah, you can solve the mystery behind it. So I think there's a bravery and there's a boldness. And if you really want to learn, you need to be bold and you need to be brave. It's the only one, only way we can uncover and that we can learn new things. Now, that being said, I still don't know what happened to the cup for my mug. So today, while I'm also doing my work, I'm going to try and uncover what happened to my mug. And believe me, I'm going to find it somewhere and I'm going to probably laugh about it. But the most important part is if I find it somewhere, is trying to work out in my mind, how did it get there? Okay? Uh, did I move it there? Did I misplace it? Did I whatever? I don't think I would ever have taken it off the mug and I don't think I would have misplaced it. So that is now a challenge for me and hopefully I'll learn something new today.
thank you for watching people that's my first